So we had one of our followers, Jenny, sent us a $40 Walmart gift card. And we were able to use it online and set up a grocery order so we could pick up some snacks. So Murphy... Murphy and Taylor and Little Dude. Come here, baby. Little Dude. Come here. Got a little strawberry snack. They've made friends very quickly. So I thought I would just give a little recap on who Little Dude is, who Murphy is. Pretty sure everybody knows who Taylor is right now. Can you wait your turn? Can you sit? You wanna show everyone how you sit? Oh! You wanna sit? Sit down. Put your bum down. Good job. Um. So Murphy is actually from the hoarding case that we took in almost two years ago. And um, he hurt his back a few months ago. He had a compressed disc. And uh, he has some arthritis, which he could have had before he came here. Um, but he didn't start having complications until a few months ago. But he's kind of nervous around the bigger groups of pigs. Um, he gets around a little slower, so we had him in here, and he's uh, about to start acupuncture in the next few weeks to see if that helps him out, but he's on some CBD oil and um, anti-inflammatories and a joint supplement to help, and uh, we noticed he was kind of lonely. So, little dude had arrived and he had quarantined. And uh, we introduced little dude to Murphy and they hit it off right away. And uh, so, Murphy was from the hoarding case. He's been here, it'll be two years on the 17th. He came from a, a case we took in that had 88 pigs. And the person had just got them and didn't do any or neutering and the situation was just out of control. None of the pigs had any bedding or straw. They were living in mud up to their chest. It was cold. They hardly had any shelter. And I don't have any more. You guys, you guys ate it all. But, um, he's come around. He's, he's not very trusting of people, but since he's been separated from the big herd and, and put in a smaller group, he's, he's come around nicely. He's really skeptical of taking treats from our hand, and he's always the first one to spit out a pill. <laughs> um, but fortunately, his arthritis medication is chewable, and he likes how it tastes. <clears throat> so then this one's Taylor. Taylor came to us on Saturday. This woman contacted us and told us that um, she was at her feed store buying feed and uh, this couple was looking for someone to shoot him. They said his leg was broken and they just needed to dispose of him. So the woman felt really bad and she took him but she had nowhere to keep a pig and we have a lot of medication on hand and we have a great relationship with our vets. We thought if it's just a... Um, broken leg you know there's not there's normally not like a surgical intervention needed it's more so stall rest and and pain medication until they heal but um after meeting him we realized there was some pretty pretty significant neurological issues going on I think maybe um it could be a congenital defect or something that was caused by an injury or an infection that went untreated we're not really sure so he's here and he was healthy otherwise other than having the mobility issues so we decided to introduce him to little dude who's practically his twin 
But little dude we caught back in, gosh, November. And uh, he's, he's a really sweet guy. His owner and him were living in a camper out in the woods about 30 minutes away. And um, his owner passed away in the camper. And after the police and the coroner had come, the landlord came that was renting out the camper and threw him outside. And several weeks went by and he was still hanging out around the camper. And uh, this lady in the neighborhood had been feeding him, trying to gain his trust to catch him, and she couldn't. So us and our friend Alicia and her daughter Sydney and um, Alicia's friend Jennifer came out and kind of had this whole operation to catch him and set up a pen around this little bobcat um, piece of equipment he was sleeping under and our, our vet came and a vet tech came out and we were prepared to dart him to sedate him to catch him just because the woman he was taking care of him said the landlord was going to come back and shoot him um, because he was going to be re-renting out the property and camper and couldn't have a little pig hanging around so we finally caught him got him neutered he quarantined became buddies with Murphy you can see how he he can get around he's just kind of a, a grumpy little dude but um well he's grumpy Murphy that's little dude and uh little dude and Taylor have hit it off really well and Murphy too they were all snuggling together when I came to give them snack Taylor is not neutered, so he has a little bit of boorish tendency as far as the vocalizing and uh, wanting to wanting to show some extra love and, and get excited about other pigs, but he can't act like a boar because he doesn't he doesn't move around as well. Hey, buddy. But you can see they're getting along. I don't know if you can see how much Taylor looks like little dude. But they hang out in this area. And it's calm and it's quiet. And they don't have to worry about the other more robust pigs. And little dude, he, he could probably hang in a big herd. But he's had a lot of fun being in here with, with Murphy and... Uh, hopeful that they've made Taylor feel more comfortable while we get his medical stuff sorted out. But uh, yeah, I hope that kind of answers the question of who Murphy and Little Dude are and, and what they're up to. And thanks again to Jenny for the, uh, the strawberries and all the other snacks. The pigs really appreciate it. You say bye-bye?